many, many chances. There's uh, Barassi oh. going out now. He won't give the in. Angry ant. Well, he won't give in. That's the first time I've ever seen a bloke break even time on yeah. crutches. But uh, oh, here he goes. Look. Well, he's giving his players a payout, and I wouldn't mind betting it's the forward line too, because they're not doing the right thing. He's giving Burns a nice spread out there too, because he dropped a couple of easy marks. I'll tell and you what, I bet his doctor's had a heart seizure. He said, oh, what's the use of trying to patch him up? Well, I'll guarantee, <laughs> I'll guarantee none of the players want a back answer other, because even though he's going crooked Burns, you don't know whose turn it is next. You know, if it was anybody else, you'd say they were putting on an act for the public. That's a, he's completely, I'll tell you, he is completely oblivious to the 80,000 people who are here today. He wouldn't even know that the crowd gave him a cheer then. He would be absolutely unconscious of that. His objective is to win. But right. Ian Thorogood, I reckon he's pulled a couple of master strokes. Well, it's not over yet. There's only, what, uh, seven points the difference. That's a long way from the finish. Um, it's been cut out of the grass. Here we go, the second quarter of the preliminary final of 1976, Carlton versus North Melbourne. The scoreboard reads at this stage, Carlton 2-1-13, leading North one goal straight. But it's North into attack now, the ball taken there by Moore. Moore of North Melbourne gets into the half-forward flank on that outer side. Here's a race for it. Sutton's going after it. The ball must be close to the boundary line. It's over, and there'll be a throw-in, almost on the wing position on that outer side, or eastern side. Big crowd here. There they go, Nolan gets a tap down here, but Armstrong comes into Shark. And Armstrong of Carlton swings around, gets it in towards the centre. It's being trapped there by Fitzpatrick almost, but in comes Dawson. He's tackled there by uh, Keogh. Fitzpatrick taps it across cleverly, allowing Keogh a bit of a go. Oh, Dawson runs straight through him, and there's no doubt it's a free kick to Keogh. Keogh takes that free kick on the wing position. There was an element of doubt about that, I thought he might have got him from the side. Bit high, I think, Lou. Well, it could have been that because he was bending down. Over the centre half forward it goes. Punched away that time by Ick. Out it goes wide. Going after his cable. It'll bounce right for him. He'll come back on his left foot and go for a pass. That's a good one and a mark taken there by Feltham. It's been a pretty quiet play for North. They've had quite a few quiet plays today, North. As the ball goes back towards Blight and Dool over both their heads. Going after it now. Like a whirlwind as Denshi picks it up nicely. Goes for a pass. Beautiful. Captain's taken the mark. Cowton's down with a 15-metre penalty, I'd say. He doesn't waste any time. He gets it up to the full forward zone. Punched away from Kekovic that time. Out goes McClure. Shimabush is there. Got one around the neck. The umpire's called play on. Oh, that and was a free, free kick, kick to McClure. He's playing to McClure. Oh, he missed that one to Shimabush. I reckon he? he did, Michael. Oh, there was no doubt. We saw it very clearly on our screen. Waiting now for uh, McClure from that back pocket position. Drives the ball out towards Chisnell and McConnon. Dill's there too. Dill playing the right game, but he slips over, unfortunately. Ooh. It's finally picked up by Southby. Southby gets the ball back now. Really a push in the back to Burns as he goes after the ball again. Picked up by O'Connor, but he loses. A free kick to O'Connor. McConnor. I don't know what that was for. Might have grabbed him too hard with an elbow as he was going past. Be a 15-metre penalty against this guy. If he hangs up there, it's a 15-metre penalty against Moore. Well, Melbourne can ill afford to give away foolish uh, penalties at the moment. They're not playing well at all. And McConnell's kick is over the centre half forward position. And a good mark to Wicky. Outmaneuvered uh, Mackay that time. And Mackay's appealing for a free kick as uh, we see Ick play on. Drive the ball back now to the wing position. Setting himself as McClure. Got up pretty high but couldn't hold the mark. Now he's got the ball. It bounced the right way. Lux of fortune. He does a perfect pass. And a mark taken there by Armstrong. Armstrong about to drive Carlton right into attack. It's a good kick from Armstrong too. They set themselves. Mackay's in that lot. But the ball is knocked away. Shark there by uh, Keogh. Keogh off Carlton. Straightens up. He drives at the big sticks. And one point. Takes Carlton on now to 2-2. 14 to North Melbourne. One goal straight six. Waiting for Henshaw to kick out from the southern end. There he goes. He goes to the outer side. Oh, it's a beautiful kick from Henshaw, too. They've got to run back for it. Nolan's in there, but up goes Jones. Burns is in there with him. Yeah, Chisnell couldn't get the run of it. It's picked up by McConnon. McConnon's kick heading down towards the goals. Trapped there by Ick. His kick is smothered. It goes in the air, taken by Walls. Walls to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick screws it around. Oh, what's happened here? One behind, I think. Gee, that was a good effort from uh, Fitzpatrick, almost a miraculous goal. So the scoreboard now reads, Carlton 2-3, 15, North 1 goal straight. North have a move. What, uh, how far into the first quarter do they get their goal, Mike? 3.35. 3.35 into the first quarter. 
I can't see him scoring a goal at the moment. Uh, no, well, quite seriously. 3.50 into the second quarter, so that's a complete quarter almost. Uh, well, it is, without actually scoring North Melbourne. In goes Moore there, but Fitzpatrick from behind knocks it down, taken by Chisnell. He can't get his kick in, however. Into the forward zone there for Carlton. Ball trapped by Dawson. He tries to get it across here towards uh, Byrne. Byrne is met by Ashman. In comes Keogh. There's a free kick to Keogh. No shadow of doubt about it. No doubt. You saw that. North players in strife. They're going to have to put something up here now to stem this... Uh, tidal wave that Carlton thrown in against them. Keo about 30 yards out, directly in front, kicking to the southern end goal. Couldn't see him missing this one. There it goes, and it's through. Goal to Keo, and so Carlton now moved to 3-3, 21. North Melbourne, one goal, six, and we're coming up to the five-minute mark in the second quarter. Just on 70,000 here at VFL Park, watching this preliminary final, there's Trevor Keogh. Quite a great game, Michael. Oh, my word he has, Louis. Waiting for the ball to be bounced at centre field. It'll be Jones and uh, Nolan to go for it again. Well, actually, Nolan got that out, but picked up by Armstrong. Up to the centre half forward position. Dawson goes for the mark, but backing up well as Mangle. Sends it right back now. Cable going after it. He's upended. Jezelenko backing up well, gives a hand pass. It goes to Keith Gregg. He'll have to run around, he does, and gives a hand pass to Moore. Moore drives the ball back to the North Melbourne centre-half forward position. McClure drops the mark, and picked up by Sutton now. There's a chance for Dents to mark the ball. He gets his hands to it, couldn't hold it. Down goes Dill, tries to get a hand pass. That's a wild one. Grabbed by Blight, he'll go for a bit of a run, looking for a teammate now. He sends it out wide to Gowton. Got his hands to it and takes the mark. Quickly plays on. He has a running shot for goal. It's a yes. pass to Schimmelbush, and a mark. Schimmelbush only about uh, 30 metres out from goal on a 45 degree angle and they badly need a goal at the moment, North Melbourne. They're trailing by 15 points. Well, by the way, the game's been going, you'd think they were trailing by about seven goals. Here we go now for Schimmelbush to put their second goal on the board. Oh, he's kicked to the man on the mark. What a blunder. And this has let Carlton off the hook as McClure takes the ball back now to the centre half back position there's two North Melbourne players knocking each other over there Dench and Moore but Moore is the bloke that's taken the mark a little short of centre half forward and ready to send North Melbourne back into attack again the kick by Moore is over the half forward line McClure got a one-hander to it going after Sam Kikovic been a long time between drinks for him but I'll tell you that at the moment as we see Cowton come up with the ball but he runs into trouble again crazy horse and it's taken away that time by Southby. Right, gets it over here to Ashman. Ashman down to the wing position on that outer eastern side. Robert Walls is there. He's taken the mark. He'll be paid it. Plays on straight away. They're keeping the pressure right on Carlton. Right into the forward zone. Out they come, the North Melbourne defenders. But, oh, Mackay caught one pretty Quick high kick. then. There's Barassi. Max Ritchie next to him, the chairman of selectors. They're pretty worried at this stage. North are playing badly and Carlton are playing extremely well. Kick from Mackay, it's a mammoth kick. Oh, look out! Touch through for one point. So that takes Carlton out of 3-4-22. North Melbourne, one goal straight. They got their goal, what, a 3.30 into the uh, first quarter. They haven't scored since. It's amazing to me how they're, well, they're still in the game. And they're playing such inferior football compared with Carlton's. Here's Greg with the ball now. Towards the halfback flank, he's getting paid a free kick. 15 metre penalty against Carlton. Well, North will take anything they can get at this stage, I'll tell you. Up comes Keith Gregg. It's a nice kick to the wing position. Jones is there. Blight gets up, knocks the ball clear, but here's McClure with it. McClure clears almost with ease down towards the half forward flank. On the western side, the man in front is Moore, who'll be awarded the mark. North Melbourne, oh golly, they've got to play 70% better than they're playing now if they want to win this. The kick from Moore, going back to this wing position. Nolan's there, but he's right underneath it. Up gets Jones, spoils him, it goes to Dool. Dool over to McClure. It's not the McClure that played last week. 
There's the kick going into the forward zone for Carlton. It's an awkward bounce, however. Through they come. A kick off the ground sends it forward here. In comes Trevor Keogh. Keogh of Carlton swinging around. He tries one down goal. It's plenty of North defenders there. Fitzpatrick goes up. In comes Robert Walls. Screws it around. Not enough. And another point to Carlton. So that takes the Blues on to 3-5-23. North Melbourne still one goal. Well, they're in plenty of uh, trouble, Mike, oh, uh, North they Melbourne. They're not playing well at all. They can hardly get the ball past the they're, wing position. They're being kind when we say they're not playing well. They're playing badly. Well, that's right. And, they, of course, the other mob are playing very strongly, particularly that back line of Carlton. I don't think I think Southby's touched the ball once because it hasn't been down to that full forward zone on about three occasions. There's the kick in that time. And by Henshaw, it falls kick. a bit short, going after his walls and Gumbledon. Gumbledon falls over. This yeah. is the gives oh, The umpire said it's out of bounds. It Close could have two. been two. Just about right on the line. We got the good picture of that, uh, Waller. You kept it all the way, son. Waiting there for the ball to come back into play. Mackay and Mackay got the knockout. Going through his Feltham. He breaks clear. He's in trouble. Gives a hand pass over to Greg. Greg with the left footer drives the ball back. But there's no one there for uh, North. And an easy mark taken there by O'Connell. Well, look at their forward line. It's hopeless at the moment as the ball goes wide. There's a chance for Burns. It bounced the wrong way. Aspen goes after it. Loses. Chisnell now got it. And now's the chance for North Melbourne to go to attack if he can kick the ball properly. It bounces right for Ned, oh. but he fumbles. Oh, well, they're making a mistake right. galore, and he got a free kick. He doesn't waste any time. He plays on. Even that kick was smothered too. And then we see uh, he's paid the mark. I'll tell you, it was touched for sure. There's a Carlton player down. And in pretty serious trouble too at centre-half forward. Pick him up, Mike, as we wait now for Sutton to have his kick from about 55 metres out from goal directly in front. Sutton. Fires for the goals. It's a good kick, but it's off target. Is it all through for one goal? What's the result? A goal. Oh, they would say a sigh of relief for Car uh, North Bell. That's two goals, 12 points. The Carlton, three goals, 5.23. So there's a difference of uh, 11 points approaching the 11 minute mark of this uh, third quarter. That's second Jones quarter. Who's down. Who was it? Or was it Heath? Heath. It's Heath. Oh, hello, the knee. Doesn't look too good. Well, it's a miracle how North are still in this game, but they are. There's one thing we must say in North Melbourne's favour. They will keep plugging away. They won't give up. Jesselenko. There's the bounce once again. Nolan gets up there. In comes Burns of North Melbourne now. Burns takes his kick up towards his half-forward flank on the western side. They fly. Cowton almost took the good mark, but it's still coming out there. Dill tries a hand pass across to Jesselenko. And Jesselenko gets it down towards centre half forward. Walls gets up there. But Gumbelin went up high above him. And here's the ball taken away there by Ick. Ick to the wing position. Up goes Jesselenko. The ball not clear. In comes Cable of North Melbourne. Cable tries one up to the half forward flank. Looking for Cowton. He finds Crazy Horse. He plays on immediately. It's going to go out of bounds, however. Never took time to steady, but that's his game. You can see Malcolm Blight there. Indicating to him he should have tried the hand pass. There's Kevin Heath. A little bit freer in his action. Kekovic and Jones, but in comes Cowton from behind. Plenty of bustling. Cable's on top of the ball. But there'll be a ball up on this half-forward flank for North Melbourne on the western side. Down she goes. North kicking to the northern end. Jones comes in there, taps it down here towards Mangles. He can't break clear. Pickett's in there. So too is uh, Feltham. There'll be another ball up. Umpire Kevin Smith. Can North get another one here? Here's the bounce. Kekovic comes in and gets a tap away too, but it's taken there by Pickett. He's taken to the ground by uh, Cable. Pickett's uh, still going. He gets a hand pass over here towards Armstrong. Armstrong can't get away with it. It's holding the ball. Feltham gets it over here towards Dench. Dench drives the ball forward and Schimmelbush has taken the mark. 15 metre penalty. 15 metre penalty, all right. And Schimmelbush has kicked one as well within kicking distance. 11 points of difference. Our North coming good. Up comes Schimmelbush now. It's on its way. The result, he's off target, oh. I reckon. Oh, is he off target? He's put it over the line on the full. Out of Southby bounds. will take it. Southby to take that free kick. The it's penalty down there in the back pocket. It? Well, it's two shocking kicks by Schimmelbush. I think he's going to pull over the Carls when he gets in the dressing room at half time. The one before he kicked to the man on the mark. Hand pass coming from uh, Armstrong over to McClure, who's doing a great job there at uh, centre-half back. He's kicks over the half-back uh, line. Byrne goes after, was too far for him. He backs up pretty well. A hand pass back now to Wick. 
Scoops it up beautifully, one-handed. Gets a bit of a run on a short pass. It's OK to mark the dents. Dents, another hand pass. Back to Burns. And North Melbourne now swinging to attack. He better kick it. And he does as he drives it out, looking for Shimmerbush again. Pennell's right on his tail. Oh, good play by Shimmerbush. He's going to have a running shot for goal. He's missed it again. Strike That's three in a big. row. Let's go off. He'd be disgusted himself. That's three easy shots. He could have run another 10 metres that time. They could be in front. Well, they could have been in front. Two goals, 113 North Melbourne to Carlton, 3 5, 23. And uh, Schimmelbusch has lost three chances of a lifetime. The short pass looking for Jezelenka. They don't want to lose concentration now because Jezelenka will take advantage of that as he gets the ball back. Looking for Jones and Carlton have got the move on now. Jones goes down. He gives a choice to give a hand pass, but he hasn't gone over the mark. And uh, there we see Jones take the kick. Well, I notice the Carlton doctor, Dr. Breeley, is coming out to have a look at uh, Kevin Heath. There he is, uh, Doc Breeley, as Carlton go forward now, only to find Gumbelin in the way. Gets it over to Dawson, who'll have to pull his socks up. He gets it up towards uh, Chisnell. Chisnell gets it back towards Dawson. Dawson coming along this uh, eastern flank. Kicks to the half-forward flank. Up goes Schimmelbush. The ball is taken there by Cowton. Cowton a hand pass over to Feltham. Feltham in a little bit of trouble. He gets around O'Connell, gets around Mangles. A hand pass over here towards uh, Cowton again, but it doesn't come off as Mangles picks the ball up and clears for the Blues. In they come. It's Byrne and Greg oh, Oz, a free kick to keep Greg, yes. That was magnificent play. To see him yes. jump over him that time, Michael. Beautiful stuff. Well, somebody's got to do something there. I wouldn't be surprised if Heath came off. The doctor having a look at him. Looks like a cartilage area. Up comes... Greg now, big kick from the skipper of North Melbourne. Kekovic moves in there. It's knocked through by Peter Jones for another behind. So North Melbourne a 2-2-14, Carlton a 3-5-23. Gee, I st I'm still amazed that North Melbourne is a reading within Kiwi of Carlton. Southby tries a little kick. He's coming for a run along this western side now. They move into position, the big man. Up they go. Dool taps the ball down. Butters up. Dool still going. He's a magnificent player, this fellow. He's met by Burns, however. The ball in there. Keo can't get it away. There's a free kick to Burns. Yes, he was grabbed while not in possession. A hand pass across here towards Dawson. And Dawson tries one. Oh, he's uh, well, made one hell of a mess of it. Put it straight over the boundary line. It's a comedy of errors from North Melbourne. Well, they've made about five in a row oh, there, Mike. Unbelievable as Pennell takes his kick. Gets it to the half-back flank. Mackay gets up high there, but doesn't get the ball. Cowton is still battling away. Gumberland comes in. Greg is there. Burns with him. Greg comes out with the ball. Oh, could be a free kick to Bur uh, Greg. Yes, a free kick to Greg there on the wing position. He's not wasting any time. A quick hand pass out the cable. He drives the ball up to the scoring zone. They get up in the air now. Ball knocked out to Jones. A one-handed, a good bit of play by Jones. He gets the ball well over the centre line now. Up goes a burn. Couldn't hold the mark. Neither could Henshaw. Could be a free kick to uh, Carl uh, Carlton. No, he said play on. He's What's happened now? He's going to ball it up. I think everyone was confused. There was they were appealing for a free kick against Ashman. Notice Stench put his hands up. Yes, to, right. To say, well, you know, up we go now. Knocked out by Nolan. Was Dawson trying to get clear? At least he gave a hand pass out to Burn. Now it's Chisnell's turn. Chisnell drives it back. Oh, Sutton McClure overrun the ball. Picked up nicely by Feltham. He'll come back on his left boot to drive the ball over the centre half. Fourth position. Blight's got the mark. He quickly plays on. He's clear. Five of the goals. What's he do about? He's put yeah. it through. That looks better for North. Three goals, two, 20. Only three points the difference now. For Carlton, three, five, 23 points. Seven and a half minutes gone of this second quarter. Well, harking back to what I said earlier, there's one thing, although uh, North are playing badly, I said, remember, I'll keep plugging away. They won't give up. It's unbelievable the mistakes they've made. I can't remember a, a, a top class side making as many elementary mistakes as North have made so far in this preliminary final. Only three points down now. There's the bounce. Nolan gets his handle down towards Cable. Cable drives North forward once again. Here's a chance. Up goes Pennell. It's a beautiful mark for Philip Pennell. Pennell comes along this western flank. Oh, no. He's put it over the line on the full. Keith Gregg to take it. Between the wing and half forward flank on the western side. Let's see where Greg's going to place it. I reckon he'll go for the big one. Big Sam hasn't done a thing yet. Oh, he's gone for the big one, all right. He gets around the opposition. Here he goes. He's got to keep it in play. He does so. Here's a go for North Melbourne. Sutton. It was a beauty. Almost a fifth. Is he going to pull a penalty? No. 
Sutton, who took that great mark in the first quarter. There's Thoroughgood on the phone. Sutton coming up now. He's within, oh, he's only 30 yards out. He's kicked, he's put it right through for mine. North have hit the front. North have hit the front. Coming up to the 19-minute mark in the second quarter. Carlton a 3-5, 23. <laughs> North Melbourne, 4-2-26. Will you tell me how in the name of goodness they've done it, Louis? Well, you could see it happen the last quarter of an hour. They start to get a bit more confidence, and Carlton and me made quite a few mistakes on that back line. And, how could uh, they get confidence the way they were playing? Well, they did. They were just... Miracle. Well, I fancy that North uh, have got enough steam up now. To, you know, I'm not going to say they're going to win it, but it's going to make it a pretty tough struggle. Look, it's going to be a one-horse race. Now it's Jezelenko's turn to get Carlton to attack. Down to the centre half forward position. Punched away that time by uh, Walls. It comes out to Heath. He gives a hand pass to Aspen. Snaps for goal. But he's up target and it's out of bounds on the full. And a penalty free kick going out there to North Melbourne. More to take the free kick. They've got that dense. He's running all over the place. He's playing as a ruck rover. A, a half forward flanker and he's put a bit of life. He made a couple of mistakes but he certainly recovered. He's effective, Lou, which well, is so, important. Well, that's right. He is effective as the ball goes back to the half back line. There's a chance now for Gumbleton to get his hands. So he's got the mark. He'd have to pay that yes. even though it was knocked out. Gumbleton with the mark out there at half back. And North Melbourne looking 3,000% better than they were about a quarter of an hour ago. Out to Dench and Jezelenko. Dench gets his hands to it. Down he goes but he won't give it. He's a tryer. And we see the umpire playing a free kick to Dench. Grabbed on the head, he said. And Dench takes that free kick. He's going for a pass, looking for that for Feltham. Feltham picks it up OK, but he's down and holding the ball against him. I don't think he had much of a chance. And O'Connell gets the free kick out there for Carlton. North Melbourne in front by three points at the moment. Unbelievable. You wouldn't give them a chance about ten minutes ago. Ball pushed out of bounds again. Down goes Walls. I think he's found a free kick to him. Mm, pretty lucky, I'd reckon, Lou. I'd reckon, but uh, yeah. still, he got into his back, Mike. And now yeah. Walls would be about... Uh, Oh, a good 75 metres out from goal. He's not taking any chances. Goes for a short pass. Punched away by Henshaw. He's in trouble but still gets his kick. Looking for Feltham. Up gets Feltham. Punched away by O'Connell. Going after it now. We see, uh, oh, Chesnell and uh, McConnell, I think it is. And the ball is out of bounds. They're keeping at Carlton. I think this may, may pay dividends in the finish. It's a terrific game. Here's Nolan coming in there with Jones. It's tapped down to uh, Cable. Beautiful one from uh, Nolan. He gets it up to uh, the half-forward flank. Taken away there by Malcolm Blight. He keeps it in play. Duel's after him. Uh, Blight is still going, however, and Duel's still after him. Don't make any mistake. The kick coming across here towards Sutton. Oh, he's built the mark. It was an awkward one for him, the way he was moving. But he pushes the ball forward towards Schimmelbush. That's a free kick. Oh, yes. Kicking in danger to Schimmelbush. Who's missed, what, three easy shots? At least three. Schimmelbush, he's looking for the short one, but eventually takes the big kick. Down towards Kekovic, up he goes. Southby goes with him. But in comes David Dench. He's in the pocket. Here, oh. Bell, extra kick, and made a nice mess of it. He's put it over the line on the full Southby to take it. You'd say he kicked that like a full back, didn't he? Yeah, I'll say, as Southby comes up now. From the back pocket on the western side, up the northern end. Southby's kick, oh, it's a nice one too. It's a beautiful kick, in fact. Plenty of North Melbourne players there, but the Carlton players knock it away. But it's Cable coming in. Cable, the perfect hand pass. Hits Keith Gregg right on the chest. Gregg doesn't want to fool around too much. Back towards Cable. Oh, I told you they didn't want to fool around too much. Bit of luck came in there. As Byrne drives North Melbourne forward once again, Kekovic looking for the free kick, but it's not paid. The ball comes across here. In comes a Felton. Couldn't get away with it. O'Connell's there for Carlton. In comes Schimmelbush for North Melbourne. He's tackled by Armstrong. Schimmelbush is still going. He's grabbed there by McConnell. And Schimmelbush will get the free kick on the half forward flank on the eastern side of the ground. Schimmelbush about to put North right into attack if he doesn't kick it. These are the ones he's quite likely to kick. It's on its way. It's going to drop short, almost on the edge of the goal square. Taken by O'Connell. He very coolly gets his kick in. Back out towards that uh, eastern side. The ball comes in towards the centre. Burns went up high from behind. Mangles comes through there. Couldn't quite get through. It's Pickett with the ball for Carlton. Pickett now drives down goalwards and there's nobody home. You can let go a shotgun. You wouldn't hurt a soul. Here they come into for the ball now. A chance here for Ick. He handballs, he's put it over on the full. 
and umpire Robinson is paying it against him. Well, I thought it was pretty tough on it. I really, you reckon it was deliberate? I know that in the world, well, Mike. Well, OK, we'll see. We've got Byrne of Carlton with the ball. That was a matter of opinion. I thought it slipped out of his hand. <laughs> it's a kick from Byrne. It's across the face of goals. There they go. Forced over the boundary line. There'll be a throw in in Carlton's forward pocket on the eastern side down the southern end. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. Right against the Carlton, the point post there, or about 10 metres around from that goal. A chance for them to score now. Jones and Moore knocked out by Nolan. A beautiful one yeah. of Cable, two and Cable. Look at him go. A how oh, it's intercepted that hand pass. A chance for Picker to fire for goal. Oh, bad luck for Carl. North Melbourne, good luck for Carl. And Carlton are back in front, Louis. By three points. They go to four goals, five, 29. The North Melbourne, four goals, two, 26. That was a bit of bad luck that time. Oh. Cable gave the... Got a beautiful hand uh, knockout from Nolan and then broke clear, went for the hand pass, but was intercepted by Pickett and the result a goal. Marvellous, he'd be the best exponent of handball in the business. Well, the guy got up too high, been waiting now for the ball to come down. It'll be Blight and Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick gets a long one down, looking for Jezelenko, it beats about five of them, picked up by Byrne. Hand pace to Cable, he won't make a mistake this time as he gives it to Greg right on his chest and lets him go on as he runs around his opponent. Dill. Oh, he's tripped, he yes. get a free kick. A little bit late that time. He's played a great game this, today, this fellow. I'm not kidding. There's the kick by Grigg. Up to the full forward zone. Up they go. Ball flying. Now Mackay gets the right bounce. He kicks the ball very high. The back towards Mangles and uh, Grigg. Grigg goes for the uh, push. And there's Pickett picking it up now. Doing a pretty good job, Pickett, as a ruck rover. Hand pass coming over here to Byrne. Byrne's clear as he sends the ball up to the centre half forward position. Jezelenko gets a one-hander. Henshaw gets a hand pass out. There's a chance again for uh, Pickett to get a free kick, no doubt in the world. Pickett as he goes yeah. down. Free kick to Pickett, grabbed too high, didn't have the ball that time, and Pickett takes the free kick on the half-forward line. Got a pretty solid bump too, Louis. He's had plenty of kicks, uh, Pickett. Been a very handy player for them. Kicks the ball up to the forward pocket. Players set themselves now. Jones goes for the punch, looking for Robert Wall, but it's too long. And the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket, about 20 metres around from the Carlton goal. Pickett's had nine kicks so far in this match. There's Percy Jones. Wait for the throw-in. Carlton into attack. Nolan comes in with him. Nolan gets a tap down too. It's uh, taken here, however, by Heath. It is Heath down there. He's down the forward pocket. But Myers were deceiving me. Here they go once again. Up goes Nolan. Taps the ball down here. Taken by Mangles. His kick is smothered over the line. There'll be another throw in. North Melbourne Backman bottling this right up now. This is the go. Crowd of 70,000 seething with excitement. Nolan taps it over his head. Taken here by Malcolm Blight. Malcolm Blight. Oh, here's danger. He goes straight across the face of goals. Eventually finds Henshaw. Oh! Henshaw's in trouble, he's lost it. Picked up by Ashman. Ashman swings it around, he's put it through, I reckon. Yes! Two goals from two mistakes. Two goals to Carlton from two mistakes by North Melbourne. Well, they can look at Barassi's face up there. Oh, oh boy. He's breathing fire. Well, Louis, that's unbelievable. Well, it's not. It just goes to prove one thing. You should chase all the time the score. Carlton 5-5, 35, North Melbourne 4-2, 26, 27 and a half minutes uh, almost played in this second quarter. Well, two uh, goals coming from uh, two bad mistakes by North Melbourne. Up we go again. Knocked out by Fitzpatrick. Gabbed by Blight. Down towards that uh, position at centre half forward. Pushed away. Grabbed again by... Uh, by Feltham as Dawson trying to get clear. Was grabbed the ball. Pushed out now to Armstrong. Armstrong gets it back towards centre half foot. Out comes Byrne and takes the mark. Hand pass back to Chisnell. Another hand pass back to Dents. North Melbourne getting the ball back to their half forward line. But there's a run now for McClure. Can he get there to pick it up in time? It'll bounce right, I'd say. Now he's overrun the ball and he's put it out of bounds. My golly, that's about as deliberate as punching it out, but the, uh, he didn't make any effort to punch it out. And the ball is out of bounds on that half forward line for North Melbourne. They're trailing by uh, nine points at the moment. Pushed out by Fitzpatrick to McClure. He breaks clear nicely as he kicks the ball back towards the centre of the ground. Up they all get. No one takes the mark. Standing down is Keogh. Good bit of play by Keogh this time. 
and he gets the ball back towards the half forward on Heath on one hand, but still hobbling on one leg, gets the ball clear, he's moving okay now, but a bad hand pass, but luckily for Carlton, Keogh's there, grabs the ball on the half forward line, drives it over, chance for Gumbel to know, good mark that time to Mangles, a lovely mark, a real gutsy one. Now he's about uh, 45 metres out from goal, on about a 45 degree angle, a kick by Mangles. Into the goal square. Can it get through? And it's through. Yes. Good work by Jones, too. He pay, he's paid a free kick. Free kick against yeah. Jones. Jones overdid the good work, and the free kick is being taken by Terry Moore. Well, he was shoveling before oh, the ball yeah. was within Let, 10 metres of him. You called say. it. It was obvious. So Moore's got the ball now. No score to Carlton. Moore comes along this western side. It's a good kick, too. They set themselves. Up goes Greg. Couldn't quite take the mark. There's a scramble for it. Jesselenko's in there. So, too, is David Dench. And there'll be a ball up as the siren goes. There won't be a ball up now. The half time in the preliminary final of 1976. The scoreboard reads Carlton 5-5, 35, North Melbourne 4-2, 26.